that that makes sense. All right, let's get started on this one here. I'm gonna do a little marker. HTMX Plus Go. It's gonna be part three. Uh, Welcome to Costco. I wanna look into events and you. deleting, right? I already kind of know what I'm doing there. Liko, thank you very much. I appreciate that Twitch Prime. Uh, I just haven't done all of it yet. Oh, I still got that thing running. Look at that thing. I can't believe how good that one was first tried. So good. All right, anyways, this event is triggered after an Ajax onload has finished. Note this, uh, let's see. Note this does not mean that the content has been swapped or settled yet, only that the request is finished. Okay, okay. Uh, keep me company while I touch grass. Most, oh yeah, I'll keep you company. Good luck with that one. Dude, you can't mow grass and watch a stream at the same time. It's impossible. Okay, so they have a lot of swaps and all this. What about like, isn't there a way to do like something like server events? Server events, HTMX, isn't there something like that? Server sent events extension. Okay, the server sent events connects an, uh, to an event source directly from HTML. It manages the connection to your web server, listens for server events, and then swaps their contents into your HTMX page in real time. SSE is a lightweight alternative to WebSockets that works over existing HTTP connections. So it's easy to use through proxy servers and firewalls. Remember, SSE is a unidirectional service, so you cannot send any messages uh, to an SSE server once the connection has been established. Reasonable. If you need bi-direction, you do WebSockets. Very reasonable. That's reasonable. Yeah, Go, Go's fun. Go is a nice language. The thing is, I'm going to be doing a course uh, on some of this stuff. And I've just kind of been exploring it more and more. This is kind of like the third or fourth little thing I've built with it. I really like, I like everything I see. It's just that I got to pick a language that's likely going to be very usable. You know what I mean? You want it to be very usable. And so it's, it's, Rust is what I would like to use, but I don't think it's going to happen. All right. So HX is SSE connect chat room swap, uh, SSE swap. Okay. So. This isn't necessarily what I wanted. Golang is like the nice place. What's your take on web components? Uh, I have one right here. I, I don't know. I don't mind web components. I like the idea of web components, honestly. You build a specific set of logic. I also like the idea of building a web component and all of its HTML that is meaningful on the, on the server. Like, I don't want to build all these buttons and classes and everything in the Shadow DOM. Does that make sense? I don't like that. All right, so, okay, so I'll explain to you kind of what I'm doing and what I'm thinking right now. Is that right now we have all of these right here. I wanna have a little X button that I press and I can delete these messages. That's actually very easy to do without any problems. It's this part that gets a little bit more tricky. You know what I mean? Updating this time I don't I don't know how to do that without an additional round trip to the server and I don't want to do that. There's a, I guess the we could render the whole thing. Rendering the whole thing is very very simple to do. But it also sucks like in a virtual list, right? The thing is you don't want a virtual list. Virtual lists Right, that's kind of what I'm thinking about. It's like, say you have a long list and you want to delete something in the middle of that long list. You don't want to have to do React. I love it. <laughs> right, like, you don't want to do the whole thing. Right? Uh, by the way, people, I saw the saddest thing. Are you ready? Guys, are you ready for the greatest thing ever? It's, I'm not sure if it's my biggest accomplishment or my worst accomplishment ever. First off, remember our stream earlier today where I read the article from Shuttle RS? I just got this email. They're buying me a beer. Literally, they're buying me a beer and giving me a t-shirt. Um, this right here. Are you ready for this? After 2,000 karma of mostly positive Java posting, I just got perma banned from the Java subreddit for posting a Java 21 reaction video of the Primogen. That is some severe power. Okay, look at that. The Java thread spam somewhere else. This is a quality subreddit. Book them, boys. We just, okay, this right here, this is spam. 
Okay, this ain't quality. The same quality. Okay, so that's, I mean, see, this is why I'm looking into it, because I'm curious about that, but I also don't really like that. Not not the JVM community. Yeah, we got to buy a Rumble Tumble Kid uh, beer. Who's the, let's see, be honest, Prime is beyond quality. That's right. I'm so, I, the, the, I, I, I'm so beyond quality that when you see it, it doesn't feel quality, you know? Subtracting the time from the total Welcome time. To Costco. I know, but that's that. I then I'd you. have to do would be the same. Yes, I could do that. Trigger response, uh, response header. Interesting. Trigger response header. Okay, what's that? What's a what is an HX uh, trigger response header? What's this thing? All right, these response headers can be used to trigger client side actions on the target element. See, that's my worry is the target element with the response to HTMX. You can trigger a single event or as many uniquely named events as you would like. Triggers are HX. All right. So document body, add lesson is, let's see. Okay. HX trigger, my event from my body. All right. Let's see. Okay. If you'd like to try triggering an element without JS code. Okay. So this would... Okay, I see what's going on here. I think, I think, I think. I know, but I, I don't really want... I, I'm trying to avoid... I'm trying to avoid writing JavaScript. It's very simple to do this with JavaScript. I'm just making sure I understand what's available, right? Because what I don't want to do is just simply... What I don't want to do is I don't want to just write a way around it without knowing what's available. You know what I mean? Ooh, swap out of band. Okay, yes, I've I, I've looked into swap out of band a little bit, but I, I I don't really have. I looked at this, but I let's see the HX let's see allows you to specify that some content in a response should be swapped into the DOM somewhere else other than the target. That is an out of band. Yes, this allows you to piggyback updates to other elements on the response. Okay, okay. Alerts. Okay, the first div will be swapped into the uh, into the usual manner. The second div, however, will be swapped in as a replacement for the element with the ID alerts and will not end up in the target. Oh, that's really interesting. That's really interesting. Okay, let's try, let's try it out. Let's see let's see how it goes. Oh, fix the warning. I don't think we have warnings. We're in Go. You don't get warnings. Go doesn't give you warnings. It just simply says you can't compile. Go does not allow that. Auto bounds or swaps are sweet. I use my WebSocket with HMX to send various updates back to my display. It does sound pretty sweet. I like this. Okay. 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 So let's go over here. And I do have this total time right here. And go like this. ID. Uh, here. Uh, block total time. Look how I'm a, I'm, a, I'm an actual genius. Okay. Actual genius. Wait, what the hell is going on here? Welcome to Costco. I love you. Wait. Oh, this thing's not indented. I was just like, what the hell's happening here? Uh, total uh, time. And we want to use, I think, this. Sorry, I got really confused there for a second. I do like the idea of using... Uh, I, I do want to look into Temple as well tonight, if possible. Because this is type safe, right? It actually it, it allows for some go types. Shady Malk. Just give the man some Malk! Just give the man some off. Wait, you're a genius? Do you know Tom? I'm not a genius, but I, I think I know who Tom is. Uh, TJ really knows things well. So, yeah. Uh, typically, whenever you're doing parsing, parsing is usually best done when you have a more functional approach. Because it's a really, like, parsing is kind of almost a recursive, like, activity. 
And so it just kind of tends to, to work really well. You know what I mean? Why am I always wearing a hood? Sometimes I don't wear a hood. Sometimes I let these guns out. You know what I'm talking about? Don't make me get the guns out, okay? They're not ready. They're not ready, these guns. All right, so I like this. This is good, which means that I can easily go and render this really quickly, and that would be nice. So I can kind of do like a little piggyback request, you know what I mean? And so that means I need something that also is out of bounds. So I, I'd need to go like something like this, right? Uh, let's go like this. If OOB, right, then we need to go HX swap OOB equals true. I have my class, and then we need an ID, right? So the ID would be ID equals uh, total time, right? Is that fair? I think that's fair. Yeah, yeah. OB, oh, sh shoot. Oh, crap, you're right. Dude, I'm so bad at that stuff. Why aren't you running? Yeah, you should be running right now. Weird. Uh, I don't know why it's not running. Anyways. OOP, you know, you're down with me. You know what I mean? 500 pair programming. It's the only way to do that. You need a type checker for our HTMX. Well, we have, uh, we have, you don't need type checker. We have a little LSP, uh, object oriented boomers. I ran, uh, I already ran today. Oh, nice. How was running? Two miles, how was running? I, I do want to look into this. This looks cool, right? I'm curious how Temple all works. All right, so anyways, I'm getting so many messages. I told my friend that we're no longer best friends. So I wonder if he's probably responding to that. Ah, yes. Okay, let me, let me, I'm gonna put this on do not disturb. I don't want any more disturbings to go on. All right. Uh, I can be your news fr best friend, maybe. I almost got ran over by a postal vehicle. Ugh. That sounds like a shitty way to die. You're going to working on game streaming on Netflix, right? Uh, did, you, uh, just, uh, did you send data just uh, via UDP sockets? I mean, we did real-time stuff via UDP, yeah. Dumped TJ, F him. All right, so we got a little OOB in here, right? That seems reasonable. And I do have, let's see, we do have these timings. I want a little OOB. We'll call it OOB will be a bool. How does that sound? Uh, OOB uh, false, right? I'll just, I, I'm just going to false these things out, right? There we go. We only have one of them. And so if I need this, we'll, we'll, we'll try it again, okay? Let's see. Have you seen a Brooklyn Nine-Nine episode where they try to reclaim going postal? <laughs> no. That does Welcome sound like to an Costco. Andy. That sounds like I an Andy you. Samberg. That, uh, that's, <laughs> that. <laughs> Welcome to Costco. I love you. That sounds, that sounds just like an Andy Samberg thing. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's reclaim that one. Um, I kind of feel like I could almost give it a total timings here. That looks funny. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go back to that. Hold on. I'm going to just, we're going to just forget forget about it for a second, okay? I have these two structs. We'll have to think about it because I have these two structs. I kind of want them to work together. I don't want to have to, like, do the whole thing. You know what I mean? Mark of Zen, thank you very much. And the Raycon, let's go. Uh, all right, so let's see. So, so how would we do this? So when we do a delete, let's set up a delete, huh? Uh, delete, right? And what are we going to be deleting? We do have an ID, don't we? Do these things come with IDs? We do have an ID on them, so we can easily delete out that ID. Fantastic. Okay, so we do have a little bit of an ID. I like, I like it. I like it. Uh, what do we call this thing? I guess we can go delete and uh, ID. Is that fair? Yeah? 
Yeah? Let's 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 get there. Let's get there for now. Okay, we're gonna get there. Um, what else do we need to do? We're gonna want it not total time, but we're gonna definitely want some deletions going on here. Here's a little of this, here's a little of that, here's a little bit of this. Let's go down here and let's have a uh div class equals uh maybe Let's go to let's go to OpenAI. OpenAI. Let's go to OpenAI for a second and so and say, uh, could you draw me a quick SVG of a uh, of a uh, of a delete icon and provide the uh, the SVG code so I can put it in my HTML template. Thanks, thanks, Overlord. Certainly. <laughs> you see that? Do you see that? Agreed with the overlording thing. They're agreeing with the overlording thing. I'm telling you. They didn't didn't even didn't even say no. It's uh, too soon, no. Okay, there we go. Threw in one of those bad boys. Let's see what we got here. <sighs> well, that's a little... I mean... One would argue that icon's a little big, okay? I don't want to say... That I'm thick. But that's a bit thick, you know what I mean? Is there a way just to autofill this thing? Let's just try removing that. You know, I, I don't know these things. I don't know much about savages, but let's go like this. Uh, we're going to have a little div. Let's have a flex and then a flex row, right? That somehow got bigger. Okay, this is... How, how, how did I get that bigger? Is there like some sort of height? What is this? Welcome to Costco. What is this? I height? love you. Height three. We're going to have a little height three on that SOB. Not big enough. Okay. How about height four? Welcome to Costco. Where, where's... I love you. Damn it. Where's my thickness? Hey, thank you, Power Cut. I appreciate that. And Zavin, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go uh, with a full. Let's let's get a full width. We're gonna get. Well, it's not doing anything. Okay, we'll we'll go bigger. That looks good. This is we're looking good, dude. We're looking good. We're looking good. All right. Uh, I, do I need to put like a little spacing? Isn't there like some sort of spacing? Okay, uh, flex. Is there like a gap? I know there's a way to like add Welcome a little bit of something in here. I love you. What the hell is it? ML4? Is M it's ML? What's ML? Gap me. I know. Where's the thigh gap? Is it gap? Gap two. Dude, I am literally a designer. I am like literally a designer here. Okay. I am literally a designer though i should probably be using grid honestly i should be using grid i should be using grid because you don't want to have to like make this thing pop in right and then you want yeah i'm full stack this is full stack development okay full stack dgen getting stacked up in full okay renaming this full stack dgening boom You know, it's so shocking that Tailwind, out of all technology, Theo says no margins or padding. Of course you can use margins or padding. You definitely need padding. I don't do dumb rules. I'm sorry. I'm not calling Theo dumb on this one. Hey, Kister, thank you very much for that brand new Twitch Prime. What I mean is that you can't... You Sometimes you want a little margin, okay? It's okay to have a little margin.
You know what my rule is? You can't have rules, okay? It's the no rule rule, okay? Hey, you want green background? Make it a green background, okay? You want a green background? Get that green background, baby. I took forever to uh, start using Tailwind. When I finally did, it was life-changing. Yeah, uh, Tailwind actually makes UI design fun. I hate naming classes. Dude, I know. I hate remembering classes. My big thing is I hate remembering the, what the classes do. That's what I hate, right? Oh, I got a little, I got a little blister from all my work. Welcome out. to Costco. Oh, look at that. I love you. Oh, no. Oh, you can't even see it yet. Look at... Look at what I've done to my hand. Look at that little skin's just hanging off. Ugh. Welcome to Costco. Uh, thank you, Young I Bull. You. Let's go, Young Bull. Hold on. Young Bull, are you named after Perrin Ibarra? Are you named after Perrin Ibarra? So that'd be cool. Uh, yo, damn. Yo, damn. Yo, damn. Thank you for that Twitch Prime. I don't know who that is, Chief. Don't worry about it. Appreciate the sub. Okay. Yo, damn. Uh, anyways, don't worry about it. And he hates Daisy Eyes. That makes a tailwind less annoying. Uh, me? I don't hate anything. Uh, I don't care. Okay, so this is good. We, we got something going. So now let's make the little delete icon. Let's get that delete icon going. Um, is there like a... Can you, can you add a class to here that's like hover with a pointer? Is there like a, a, a pointer? Let's see. A, a clicky link finger on hover? CSS. What the hell is the thing called? Cursor grab? It's called grab? That can't be it. Cursor pointer. Do I have to do that in style? Can I, can, I just, can I just add the word pointer? Let's go. Let's go. Cursor pointer. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That is a W. Oh, yeah. W. 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 Dude, I am such a full stack engineer. Uh, my UX person calls it grabby hand. Don't use hover? Well, why, don't, why not? It makes sense to have it on hover. Okay, well, I guess. I guess not. It's redundant. Okay, shut up. Ooh. All right, so we got the little, we got this thing. So we need HX delete equals um, delete. And then we need the ID, okay? And the ID is going to be ID, yeah. And then we need HX swap. Outer HTML. Is that what we do? Let's let's look at let's look at the H, HX deleting stuff. Uh, HX delete. Let's look at it. We kind of got ourselves a bit of like a. Like I, I'm like, I'm I'm about ready to go put on like some sort of sweatband, and maybe hit like a workout. Not really sure. Not really sure what's happening right now. Okay, we need a target. We already have a target. Uh, this example will cause the button to issue a delete an account and swap the returned HTML into the inner body. Okay, HX delete is not inherited. Nice. You can control the target. I don't think, by the way, I don't think there's anything goofy about HTMX. The Django and HTMX, that's a funny YouTube suggestion. The Django and HTMX. I mean, we got we got Django and HTMX everywhere. We got it everywhere. Okay, definitely sounds like a shaker weight in a ad and beat, dude. Hell yeah! Oh, dude, think about how much shaking I could do with that shaker weight. All right, let's see. Let's see. We got the outer HTML. We're gonna do this. Let's see this. I forget how deletes work. 
Uh, let's go back here. And so when a delete happens, I want to delete out the item, okay? So let's go like this. Let's delete out the item. What is this guy? It's a string. F your string, okay? F your string. I really wish I had a uh, uh, shadowing in this language. All right. I should probably make this a bit easier to do, but I just haven't because I'm a I'm an ass. Liter legitimately, I, I I am the asshole. Uh, let's go like this. Let's go. Uh, yeah, that guy. That's the one I want. That's the one. That's the that's what I want. I want that guy. Uh, find ID ID. What is it? Int. Can I just call it an int? And I'm gonna return out a timing. Uh, let's go like this. For oh my goodness, oh, just make it happen. Just make it happen, Copilot. Get that shitty programming out of here. Nobody wants that programming. Okay. All right. Nobody wants that. Okay. Nobody wants that. Okay. We're making we're making progress. Ooh, bull seems like a weird like boob. Could be uh, e delete correct. Ooh, you're right. I should just delete it. You're, I, okay, shut up. You're you're right. You're right. There's a lot of things. A, I should do this. A, there should be a delete. You're absolutely right. Right. This is real. Okay, good. And second off, I shouldn't find it. I should have delete, huh? Yeah, we should have delete. And then I'll return a bool if it happened. Make it happen, co-pilot. Make it happen. Look at that. Not even going to review the code. That's the, kind of, that's the kind of man I am. Okay? That's the kind of man I am. Okay? If you're not down with me, you, you don't know shit. Okay? Uh, if uh, not deleted... There we go. Uh, let's go and say ID not found, or else we're gonna do this one. Ooh, what do we got here? That last song, can we go back to that last song one more time? I kind of felt like I was literally Tom Cruise. Am I Tom Cruise or am I not? Nobody knows. All right. We're gonna turn a thumbs up when deleted. Uh, Tom Cruising, we're Tom Cruising right now. All right. Does anybody know the song name? It's Cyber. It's it's Synthwave Cyberpunk Mixtape Volume One. We did Volume Two last night. Hey, I'm Tom Cruise, Carlos Eduardo. Welcome to Costco. Carlos Eduardo. I love you. Thank you, Carlos Eduardo. All right. Uh, Carlos Eduardo. Ooh. All right. Wait. Uh, what what the hell is the thing called? It's called a uh, Total Time. Whoa, whoa. I tried to give him the big D and it didn't let me. Thank you, Reem Welcome Muscana. to Costco. Oh, thank you, I love you. Many appreciations. Let's go. Welcome Let's to go. Costco. Hey, it's been nine months. Does you. that mean I'm allowed to call you Papa Prime now? You've been allowed to sit on my lap and call me Papa Prime at any moment, okay? Fair. Fair. We'll, we'll do that. I think that last one was con 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 getting borderline sexual harassment. I am sorry for all the people I've disappointed. <laughs> what do we get here? Okay, we got it. Not very Tom Cruise of me. Okay, not very Tom Cruise of me.
Zero. I can just feel my... It did delete what I told it to delete, but it did not update that. I'm pissed off about that, okay? I don't like what just happened there. Okay, I thought I had it out of band. Look that, I got it out of band. True. HX swap oob ID total time. What the hell are you called? Oh, I'm stupid. I was right. Oh, shoot. I'm right. I am so right. Um, I am so, I am so right right now. Oh my goodness. I am just, just gleaming with correctness. I am gleaming right now. I'm gleaming. Welcome We're to Costco. Gleaming. I love you. Okay. Uh, it's, uh, is that how you do that? How does close this work? Hey, thank you, Golden Skoyas. Golden Skoyas. Uh, what is it called? It's called uh, Closest. It'll select the parent, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, there we go. We got something going here. Oh. Oh, boys. Okay, so now we have one more little refactor we need to make here, okay? We got one little refactor we need to make here, which is pretty simple, okay? We're going to have this. Funk uh, new page data, and this is going to return a page index, okay? And this is going to return a – what the hell is this thing going to return? It's going to return this thing, okay? And this is going to be a page. And then we're going to like this. Page dot calculate uh, total time. And we're going to have that. And then we're going to return a page, okay? That feels really good. You know what I mean? All right. Then we're going to take this thing, and we're going to go funk. Uh, hit me with that total time, okay? And let's take that one out. Let's paste that one in here. Three down. Take that out. 14 down. Get the hell out of here. Get out of here, page data. We don't even want you. We want a new page data. Calculate that time. Go all the way back up to here. FG. Get a new page data for that one. We're going to go 10 down. Apparently not do what I wanted. New page data. Not using find and repeat for whatever reason. Page data. Calculate time. Yes, let's recalculate that son of a... I guess I could find and replace, but we're not going to do it. 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 We're just going to walk it. We're going to walk it out. I literally just did the world's fastest. You lied to me. You lied to me. You lied. You liar. You liars lied to me like little liars. Okay? There's clearly a div. Clearly a div right there. Space. How can I ever trust any of you guys again? How can I ever trust any of you again? That sucks. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to see. That is not what I wanted to see. Uh, let's print a bunch of those so they're very easy to see. Gosh, this song is kind of a ripper. Can I not do that? Uh, has possible, let's see, hold on. Uh, what, is it, what does this mean? Can we say this is kind of a possible ripper? Can we say this is kind of a possible ripper here? That is a zero seconds, people. That is a zero seconds. So my out-of-band swapping...
Welcome to Costco. I love you. Oh, man. Oh, man. First try. Wide vibes. Thank you for that, Smacks. You are a real dev now. Twitter, uh, look at the development time for implementing three buttons in HTMX. Why you guys got to be so negative? Why you got to be so negative here? Peanut celery. You're just jealous, okay? You're jealous that you didn't have to include 350,000 characters G-zipped. Okay? To be able to make three buttons work, okay? Some of us didn't have to do that. Some of us, perhaps, only transferred a few K, okay? A couple. Apparently, 15 K for HTMX and 13 K for Tailwind. These three buttons cost me 13 K. And don't forget my really six K for my bundle. What the hell am I sending? Oh, this hasn't been minified. Okay. I was like, what the hell have I sent in here that it's costing six K? What do you mean? How much K is react? A lot of K's here. Not to make, we're not, this is not us making fun of Theo. But we're just going to look. Okay, where's, where's my little filter on? Where's my little filter? So 343K worth of JavaScript. Still using Webpack. Ca called it. Called it. Still using Webpack. Still using Webpack. Still, still using Webpack. Called it. So, I mean, it's just different, right? It hits different. And most of you are probably saying, I mean, that's the thing is, but I mean, also Theo developed something that's successful and good. So do you really want to listen to me? Okay. Do you really want to listen to me? Maybe you don't. Look at my site. Okay. Look at it. I want you to compare. Okay. Compare. First off, I don't even know what that is. Okay. I'm not even a good enough developer to know what that even is. Are those boobs? Maybe. I'm not even sure at this point. All right. So that did work. We need, we need one more thing. Oh man. We need one more little thing here. All right, let's go here, ID timer, and okay, so now here's the real question. How do I render multiple things? Uh, echo, render multiple templates. Uh, echo, Golang, render multiple templates, right? I'd like to be able to render individual templates and not just do a singular render. So again, remember, you don't necessarily have to listen to me because I also didn't. I don't have a website that works. Echo, don't exo, HP streaming. Oh, I just want I just want to have multiple templates, right? All right. There must be a way to have like more because it, it just has render a singular template. I need like I need the render and then I need the render again. You know what I mean? Is there a partial render? I'm just using something very simple. Don't don't you worry. See, there's the render, right? There's the nice little render. Can I just render? Can I call render more than once? Isn't closest div JavaScript? Not really. HX trigger to cause uh, a, a reload of another element. I don't want to do that. 
I'm trying to have a singular request to send back all the things I need to be updated. Right? Effectively, we're making a real-time video game. It's just... It's just not. I mean, I guess what I can do is I can just go like this. Um... I don't know how I feel about this. You know what I mean? Do I like this? You know, unsure. You know, re really, really unsure about this one. I don't know. I don't know what to call this thing. I just want, I want all the delete updates to be sent down. Render the full file. You could just render a template with a little logic in it. I'm trying to avoid a little logic, okay? Okay. Let's see. Basic go project. Do a little bit of this. Do a little bit of that. Little C string. Beautiful. Download the echo package. Return to the JSON response. Okay, beautiful. All right. Return. Return an HTML. What? Sounds like a boomer said that. I think this may work. I I, I have multiple templates. My my I, I have multiple templates, right? Right? Multiple templates isn't hard. I have the whole directory. Right? We got the whole directory. I know, a little logic is bad. Uh, just saying. I'm I'm I, well, I'm seeing if I can do it without doing that. You know what I mean? We'll see. Okay, so here's a little here's a little HTML. Nice. Okay. Render using a template engine. Yes, I want to see this one. Okay, we got a little execute template. I like it. This is a renderer. Okay, nice. This is where you're gonna set your renderer. Welcome there to we Costco. go. Got the template registry. I love you. Now we got a little home handler. Where's my home handler? Give me my home handles. In the main go, we called the template registry. Okay, awesome. The home handler takes this. It does a little home HTML. Perfect. We know what we're doing there. This is looking good. Okay, using nested templates. Okay. What does this look like? We got a little template. We do this. We're going to execute base. Um, I, I don't think this is going to quite be the thing I want. Base. Yeah, see, this is just this is just one template again, which uh, which refers to these other templates. That's, that's what I was going to do. I just didn't want to do that. I wanted something that I could do, like, multiple of these renders. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Scribbled lines. Hey. Hey, scribbled lines. Uh, no, there's no reason. What about when, when Thompson? Is that like, what's that? Maybe call it render twice? Yeah, well, eh, that seems, that somehow seems wrong. Can we all agree that, does that just feel wrong? Yeah, I got the total time. I don't Welcome think I, I don't think I, I don't think I got I, love you. I don't think I got anything. Oh, wait, I'm not even building right now. Format yeah, I, I didn't even build. I didn't even build. There we go. I could tell right away I didn't build by the way it was. You know what I mean? I could tell right away I didn't build by the way it was. Welcome to Costco. But it didn't send anything. I love you. It still didn't build. Right? Because I thought I deleted these. Did I not delete this? Did I not delete the helps? Sorry, hold on. I'll say thank you in a second. I didn't even realize I pressed a button. Maybe I did. Damn. Damn. First try. First try. Maceo, let's go. Let's go. This is... I feel like I'm hacking a little bit. I kind of feel like I'm hacking a little bit. You know what I mean?
You know what I mean? Kind of feel like a, an elite hacker. An elite... An elite hacker at this point. Okay, total time did not update there. I didn't like... I don't like to see that. Okay, we did... Okay, that's good. We just did a double out-of-band swap. I kind of like this idea. Why write HTML when you can just stream lit and trust auto-generated Python code to do, the, uh, do it for you? That's also a good idea. Templates are a little hacky. I mean, so is... So is, I mean, all templates are hacky. Here's the deal. All programming is hacky. Choose your hack. How do you like to hack it? The real HMX. Hey, look, real HMX. We did a little, we did a little out of band swapping going on. Huh? And that's because, okay, apparently I didn't delete that. We should have deleted that. That should have done that. I not apparently we're not deleting things. You know why? I think I know why. I think I, I think I honestly know why. Uh, because a new page. Wait, no, I actually don't know why. Isn't this a pointer? So when I delete something, doesn't it? Oh, wait a second. Oh, wait a second. Where's my delete? Wait a second. Dang it. I did this. Really, I, I right now, I'm not saving. I'm not using a database right now, okay? Okay, I'm not using a database right now, okay? We're not using a database. Copilot, Copilot cucked me. OOB swaps are a hack. They are a hack. They are a hack. So, 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 real HMX. I'd like to hear your opinion on this one. Okay, are you ready for your opinion? Uh, your your opinion on this one. Okay, are you ready? All right. So, I have this thing running. We're gonna stop it. Okay, hold on. What the hell has happened to total time? Hold on. Why is it still saying total time zero? Well, hold on. We we got we got a problem. HMX, just close your eyes for a second. Okay, just close your close your eyes. I did a quick refactor, and now I'm emotionally bruised. Okay. Uh. That, I mean, that, that should work. Right? That should work. That... I mean, I, I want to just return that. Hold on, hold on. I don't even know how to sub. Uh, I'm a boomer in spirit, guys. You're doing a great job. Just keep being a boomer, okay? Quick refactor. All right, so I thought this would make this thing work. Hold on. Okay, we're, we're going back at it. We're going back at it. Uh, there we go. We're going back at it. All right, we'll refresh it. We'll Welcome smash to Costco. it at two seconds. I love you. It says zero seconds each time, which I feel like is a is a genuine lie. I feel like I've been lied to. It's to oh crap! Is total time not being used? Oh my goodness. Okay, I did let Copilot write this one as well. I did let Copilot write this one. Okay, I let Copilot write that as well. And now look at me regretting my decisions. Now I regret my decisions. Robot. Okay. Robot. Thank you for gifting the sub to uh, the real HTMX. Okay. So real HTMX. Okay. Do you see how I have total times two seconds? Right? And so if I do some movement now, we're getting some positive. Right? We're exercising our body. We're feeling good. We're, we're done watching uh, uh, whatever it's called. Uh, Netflix. Okay. So we do a little bit more consuming. And here's the problem. If I let this thing go, right, right now we have a total time of negative one seconds, correct? Sips monster zero. Oh, gosh. Uh, if I press this delete, I want to be able to remove this line. But then I also really need to kind of like, I shouldn't show you the previous total. And then I also need to update the total time. You know what I mean? Does that make sense?
I would target the whole thing then. Yeah, but like uh, you could imagine, like uh, the, the, the reason why I don't like doing that is like if you had a long list, right? Say you had 300 items in it. You wouldn't want to have to send down all 300 items again, right? I don't want to say, yeah, Rapidiv, I know, I thought about that, but I don't want to, I don't want to update everything, right? I'm just trying to think of like, okay, you're going to be a weenie. Then yeah, OOB. I am not being a weenie. I am being somebody who, I mean, okay, the real talk, most people that are concerned about that truly aren't concerned about anything. You could use an event. Okay, so that's what I'm, okay. I want to hear about this event. But before I hear about this event, I just got done spilling all my green water on my on my freshly created, handcrafted, artisanal table. So I got to go get a towel. I'll be right back. Okay? And then I want to hear about these events. Yes, you can talk to me. We'll, uh, can you send me a friend request in Discord? You can do Discord, right, old man? Can you do, can you do the... Oh, gosh. No. No. Don't leak it. Apparently, I can't do Discord. Uh, my, my username is literally the primogen. Okay. It's literally the primogen, uh, because I got one of those special ones. So send me a friend request and I can accept it because I, I'm a partner, baby. Okay. Uh, I'm building this thing right now. That's taking, so th the hard thing is like, so watch this. If I delete this, this should all work out. See, I have it technically working. And I'm doing this via out of band updates. So that's pretty cool. I think we could all agree that was that was just pretty radical. Okay? That was pretty radical that we're running the entire thing via the server. If you want fashion to be web based, no. Because you want it to be correct. Right? The problem is is I value speed only second to correctness. So if you if you preemptively delete and adjust all of your client side state a you've just put yourself out of sync with your server b if your server fails you have to undo it on your client side and that's a that's a fucking nightmare they're rounded it's round it's those are rounded numbers right they're not technically correct numbers this is like 7.6 or something like that you know what i mean so that's why i refuse to do uh that's why you know I value correctness over speed, first off. You always have to. All right, hold on. Let me be right back. I need a towel. <sighs> Let's do this. Guns are ready. Guns are ready. Guns are ready. Bring out the guns. And give that Melky a run. <laughs> a family show? Showing the family some guns. All right. Uh, all right, hold on. L lithium, I don't want to leak the screen again. I'm sorry. I can't remember what we are sending, so hopefully it wasn't too bad. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. don't worry about it. Okay, friends, uh, HTMX. Uh, uh, Carson, what's your, what's your name uh, on the friend request? Uh, HTMX. Did I just see Dow right? Oh, damn. Friends. Uh, okay, so. Here. I have a lot of friend requests. I didn't realize that I have friend requests. What's your name? That's what it is. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> yep. was, hey, hey, hey. How's it going? Oh, I've got an echo. You got an echo? Okay, hold on, Hoddle. Uh, Discord swaps out what it's trying to listen to all the time on me, or Windows does because I stream from the you know, the stream from Windows. Yeah. Everybody, go ahead, make fun of me. No, I'm good. I'm good now. Oh, you're good now. Okay, okay. Yeah. 
I didn't even do anything. Yeah, oh. If I turn on my camera, is that bad? No, I don't think anyone's going to see you. If we if we want to do a little, if you want to see an in person ch com communication, we could jump on ping. Nah, it's all good. I don't whatever you want. You just said it's all good. Then whatever you want. You're sending me mixed signals, Carson. <laughs> what is this Twitter? <laughs> no, this is good. We're good. We're good. Okay, we're good. We're good. Yeah, we're good. All right. Um. Okay. So do, do you kind of see what I'm doing? Do you see how I did that update? Yeah. Yeah. Right yeah. There, yeah. And I was yeah. able to get. Yeah. You know, so I am updating things, and out of bounds or out of band updates is one way yeah. I could do this. Is that sure. and saying there's something better out there to do? Well, so yeah, this is where I mean, you know, and this is t tough. You got to make some trade offs. Um, hypermedia isn't always like perfect. Um, oh, and this is really one area where. Apparently. Hold on, let me turn you down oh, a little bit. Sorry. My bad. <laughs> That's my bad. All right. Keep going. Yeah. It's not my fault. Uh, so, yeah, so you want, like, when you click on a trash can, you want that row to go away, but then you want to update the timer and then the total time up top yeah. stuff, right? Yeah. Okay. So um, you got basically three options. The first one, which you don't like, is just expanding the target and refreshing all of it. Yeah. And you can click that delete. That's going to be the simplest, but it might not be the best user experience. Okay. So set, setting that aside, your next option i think from a simplicity standpoint is out of bound swaps but uh they are kind of a hack and i think swapping more than one thing with an out of band swap is starting to get a little aggressive you could <laughs> go over to uh like server sign events you know and use the sse or websocket stuff but that's probably out of scope for what you're trying to accomplish so it, then the it's last just adding thing a library right you add a library and then you do do you do out of band events because when i looked at some of the documentation i just i perused it pretty quick for the uh yeah. Uh, for the stuff, it looked like yeah, it looks like you have to like attach it to a singular div and then have it swap things out. I yeah, guess. basically, like you set up an event source and then the stuff comes in and it's like a bunch of out of band stuff. Okay. And so by, by ID, it can jam you know HTML wherever you want. Um, but that's pretty elaborate. So the last one, can you go back to the UI and I'll I'll, I'll walk you through how you could use events here. So what you could do here is. Um, when you click on that that delete button, you could emit an event and then have that total time thing and whatever else you need to listen for that event and trigger a request to update it mm -hmm. as well. Okay. Okay. So, so, those... so that's also the other thing I was avoiding, which was extra requests. Yep. Okay. So if you don't want to issue any more requests and you're unwilling to expand the target, then your option is out of band swap. So you're doing the right thing. Okay. Or oh, then my then the more advanced option would be WebSocket slash SSE. Yeah. And yeah. That, if you wanted to go nuts with a. Okay. I mean, I don't think it's bad because you know, I, real talk. I know that I think you're partially on uh, board with my my description of it, but I I just try to imagine I'm programming a real time video game, and sure. the server is the ultimate truth. It's rendering the game, and so when I do something, mm -hmm. the server sends down effectively the uh, I forget what were they called P frames the the okay. differentials and so then i update according to the differentials i don't need to request another idr and that's kind yeah. of like in my head how i think about the process and so ssc yeah. seems like a really nice way to potentially do this so you would wrap like the very top level uh yep. event uh, or the very top level div with this and then yep. you'd be able to send in messages that would effectively out of band swap as they come yeah. so in case you're no longer showing a timer it doesn't matter we're just sending down these events and they either do or don't affect the game state. Yeah. If, if you scroll down a little bit, you can see some, some examples where, so like this, that first div there is going to take whatever com content comes in in event one and put it inside of it. Oh, and, and this one does individual yeah, events. So you just, you just, you send the events down that basically target the particular area you want updated with uh, HTML. So it's a much more sophisticated way to stream uh, HTML down than like, you know, bog standard HTMX. Okay, and then follow up, uh, is there any problems with like proxies or any sort of information? Cause you're just holding open a, a, a TCP connection, right? Is it the same as a WebSocket connection? Yeah, uh, SSE, if, if I understand correctly, is a little less uh, resource intensive than WebSockets just cause it's not two way. Um, but yeah, it is holding open a connection. Okay. Okay. So it just holds open a connection. It's pretty much you're just creating a web socket, except for you're just allowing. Uh, it's like the uh, server effectively writes 
head and then never actually ends the back the thing back out right is that effectively what's happening yeah exactly and it's one it's one way server sent so the those sses just take in data from the server okay okay i like so you this. can also just so this so that that next the the next one down see below it where there's an hx trigger that has sse colon chatter so um this is if you want to trigger a request so an, an event comes down and it's like like for example like refresh the the entire you know message thing mm. or whatever yeah you get some event and you want to issue a request to the server rather than have the html payload come down in sse so that's the distinction between those oh two nice uses. okay so that uh, very cool so that could actually uh so if you wanted to do like additional requests for certain items this would be the yeah. one where you could just key off of just like trigger yep. it. Okay, that's cool. I like that. Yeah, so you can use trigger to trigger an actual HTTP request. I like that because sometimes you know I can I can see out of bands being a bit tricky, and it's just like you know mm -hmm. not everything needs to be out of bands differential updates. Let's just update the yeah. entirety of the component, and this would yeah. seem like a really good way. Oh, yeah. Okay, I like that. Yeah. I, uh, the reason why I'm doing this, I I want I want an app that's tricky enough. Yep. You know, this is like a tricky enough application that it effectively yeah. has everything. Like I should get rid of this dumpster upon initial render because you can't delete while something's running, right? Because if I did it right okay. now, I don't even know what would happen. And apparently this thing's broke okay. now, now that I've done that. But yeah, I mean, I know you don't want to do it, but I'm telling you, you'd be shocked how fast stuff can come back. Like if you expanded the target, you're going to make your app way simpler. And if it's a good enough user experience... I mean, I know yeah. you want to push it hard here, but like I, the way I would approach it is I would build it with just a bigger target and suck it up and deal with that and make that response real quick. And with the way HTMX is, like you're not going to lose scroll state or whatever, right? If it gets super long and you're down at the bottom because it's updating everything in line, like you're not going to go to the top of the page or something dumb like you would with regular HTML. Um, so, you know, I'm not, uh, I don't think, you know, you necessarily need to go down that path, but if this were like a real world, uh, example of us building an app together, I'd probably argue for at least trying that at first and see if it works because it's going to be so much simpler than managing all this stuff. That was, that was like, so that's kind of like my build process that I'm thinking through, which is yeah. I want to walk through the several stages, which is what's the simplest one. Well, the simplest one truly is just, I mean, update this entire section right yeah. and this one yeah. this is like a little web component because it does the counting I, apparently okay. i broke that count there you go oh i know why i broke the counting oh it makes perfect sense now uh anyways this little web component of course what it just i need something to count i don't want to do web server stuff for that and so okay. just have a sure. simple web component for that part and the rest you just you know i like this idea this seems like a this pretty much covers 90 some percent of all web applications, which is just simple huh. mutations and updating yep. various spots on there, adding data, yeah. removing data, and that's it. Yep. Hit a little tab no, up right, here, boost good... it. Boom, I'm done. Yep. Good little good little app. I like it. Yeah. Okay. I'll consider that. Cool. I'll, I'll walk through that. I like that idea, though, that you can truly reduce sophistication by opting into rendering. And for the most part, that actually works quite a bit. People don't realize like yeah. exactly how slow other things are and what you're paying for. Yeah, well, once you make a network request, that's what I always tell young developers. is like, once there's a network request in play, like who cares about CPU burn on like string concatenation? It doesn't matter, <laughs> you yeah. know, it's like, you know, the, the payload size isn't the, isn't what's, you know, the, the network latency is typically so large compared to that and what's the small amount of differential that it doesn't matter. So if you can, if you can trade simplicity and still have a good, to me, it's the user experience. If you can get a good enough user experience, then cool, we're good. Um, but, and that's the, you know, so worrying too much about performance early on, I think is, and trying to optimize too early can uh, kind of, you can paint yourself into a corner, so. Yeah, yeah, because I wouldn't want to start off this way. Because even like, just even taking Netflix, if you could, you know, they, we have one row called uh, My List, I think at this point, it's just called My List. It's continue watching mm. plus My List. And you can mutate that row. And that row can have mm. up to 500 items on it. So okay. even then, I'm not 100% convinced you couldn't purely serve that as a yeah. just send everything down. Because yeah. it's, it's, it's a relatively small amount of information. 
Yeah, well, and bandwidth has gotten really good on most now. It's latency is what sucks. Like when people complain about the web, it's latency typically these days. It's not the bandwidth to the end user. It's yeah. It's like a big deal. That's so, true up until you, you get know. to India. Then you got sure. severe well, packet okay. drop. And so two packets <laughs> yeah. cost the same as 20 packets because of just yeah. like the sheer number of issues <laughs> that can come up. So if you can keep your response times techn- or your response payloads technically below 1,500 bytes, you yeah, can get some really snappy web feels. Okay. Just a fun sure. little worldwide perspective yep yeah, absolutely all right okay well i think that's all i've got useful to say i've got to go eat dinner with my family so <laughs> hey have Goodbye. fun with your family uh say hi yeah. to hunter lloyd also oh, I will. he was my first person Absolutely. that ever hired me did you know that yeah hunter's a great guy he's a great guy all right yeah. hey by the way i'm gonna Cheers. be up in uh, bozeman in i think november no oh, boy yeah <laughs> lock up your lock up your wives <laughs> you better <laughs> See ya. Cheers, man. Later. What a great guy. Carson's a good guy. I like HTMX. I like it a lot. I don't know. For me, the the the, the mental model for me is very simplistic. And just like what Para, uh, Parasocial said, uh, it you know I would probably like Live View. Honestly, I if I was an Elixir person, I probably would love Live View. I can recognize that. But I'm not an Elixir person. Uh. Maybe one day I could be. I like their pattern matching. It feels better than Rust. To Quaramus Prime. Yeah, I know. I, I mean, I could potentially be one. Can you explain the thing about keeping packages below 1,500 Bs? 1,500 Bs. The MTU, technically, like the global MTU is like 1,500. I haven't seen the Beth, uh, the Beth Stack four-hour tutorial, no. I, there's no way I'm going to spend four hours watching Bun Express tailwind and htmx or whatever the t stands for mtu minimum uh, maximum transmission unit uh max transmission unit so like whenever you work with tcp you gotta remember or udp the thing you send is going to contain packet information plus the data of the thing you're sending tcp guarantees in order so inside of the packet you have like a bunch of information for reconstructing it on the other side so if there's out of out of order packets or missing packets it can request and get everything in order for you then hands you out a chunk of memory and so if you have one packet 1500 bytes it can send all of that in a singular packet through the internet that's really fast if you have to have more than one you start getting into it starts to get goofy. Yeah, the data in frame. Yeah. I mean, yes, you're correct. Because you have to have, like, header considerations. It has some cool stuff for uh, HMX routes. HX get is type safe uh, using a cool hack. Oh, that's neat. That's super cool. I'd have to see how that works. But, all right, so I like what I see here. Where'd you buy the shirt? Uh... Welcome to Costco. I love you. Can you guys tell me what brand this is? I don't know. My wife buys my clothes. Do you see that? Can you see this thing? What brand is that? There we go. Cuts. Cuts. All right. Cunts. Okay, whoa, no, it's cuts. Cuts. Uh, whoopsies. Cuts. Dude, I'm going to look this up, and it's going to be too expensive, and I'm going to feel bad. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I hate finding out what my wife paid for a t-shirt. 50 bucks! Oh! Damn, I dislike that. <laughs> See, this is why I don't look up anything, Okay. I have three t-shirts I wear. That's it. I have three. (laughs) I wear the same three t-shirts all week. You'll notice I have a white one, a black one, and the green one. Anyways, yeah. $150. That feels pretty good. I don't know what my pants are, though. Last ones were Volcom pants. Uh, no surprise. How much they co- with how much they cost? It feels nice, yeah. Do you laundry every three days? No, I wear the I, I wear the same shirt. Like I'll wear this shirt probably three times before I throw it in the laundry. Uh, it's 
Tell her to look into the Duluth Trading Company. Volcom does a lot of cool sports gear. Yeah. Yeah. I like, I like, hey, I like my shirts, okay? This is a nice shirt. It makes me feel safe. Okay? Dang it. These are the floor. This was floor water. That was floor water. That was floor water. That was definitely floor water. That was floor water. Looking jacked. I've been really trying to stay in shape. I am 37 years old. I think I'm in the best shape of my life. Welcome to Costco. Uh, tech, thank you. I love Techno you. Ash. Appreciate that. And I'm just trying to stay as fit as possible. You know? Uh... Doing any cardio? Yeah, 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 yeah. So what I do, what I do is every day I do, it's kind of a shitty workout. I feel terrible. <laughs> Makes me feel terrible. But like, uh, what I'll do is in the morning, I'll do a 20 minute workout where I do 25 calories on the bike. Then I'll do a set of 20 of some weight that I fail at about 30 reps on. And then I go back and forth over and over and over and over again. So at benching, I'm getting close to getting, I'm, I'm close to being able to get kind of high. You know what I mean? And so I do that. So I do that. I do 10 sets as fast as I can. So about 200 reps of something. So I'll do like 200 squats and 250 calories on the bike. And then in the, in the afternoon, I will do uh, 100 feet on the Jacob's ladder and then a set of 20 of something else. And then 100 feet on the Jacob's ladder and then something else. And then do that 10 sets of 10. It's really awful. It feels really disgusting. It makes me want to vomit. And so, like, my last one was, uh, my last workout was Jacob's Ladder, 10 sets of 10 on the Jacob Ladder, and then 60-pound uh, kettlebell swings. That thing. So not 10 sets of 10. Uh, t uh, 10 sets of 20 for reps. And so I just looked up the Jacob's Ladder, and I'm scared. Dude, it's awesome. It's, it sucked, though. I, I, felt like, I felt like vomiting. Uh, anyways, uh, per, let's see. Yeah. So we'll see. All wear wearing the same t-shirt. Yeah. Same pants too. <laughs> I wore these pants. I live a simple life. Okay. I shower every day. I wear deodorant and I wear the same clothes and work out. Okay. I have to. All right. Anyways, let's keep on going. I'd smell pretty good right now. Hey, no problem. A3, B6, C5. What color is that? What are we talking here? What are we talking here? What, what's, the, what's the color here? A light blue. Lovely color. That's a lovely color. We're getting old. I need to add lotion and sunblock to that routine. <laughs> Just put sunblock on. I sit in a room without windows, okay? And then I go outside for 30 minutes a day. I try to, at minimum. Cook some steaks outside tonight. That was nice. I can bench, I think I can bench 185. I can bench 185. Not a lot, okay? Not, cr like, we're not crushing. We're not, we're not crushing it. But 185 is fine. That feels good. Uh, all right. So I, I did want to look into this. This guy's a normie. All right. So I did want to look into this. Uh, don't you raise cows and outside only 30 minutes a day. Cows mostly do nothing. They do nothing. If you're six foot 180, no, I'm, uh, I'm six foot, uh, 170, maybe one, maybe, maybe 168 to 173. I don't know. I don't know how to measure yourself. That's me. You know, I try to do as good as I can. Uh, all the more respectable. Well, thank you. Uh, anyways, let's do this. Let's look into this because I actually want to see this thing. Uh, centimeters is easier. You have 511 energy. You will shut your whorish mouth. Don't you ever call. I'm the shortest man in my family. Okay. The shortest. Do you know what it's like being the shortest male? It's not fun. Okay. It's not fun. 
They call me extra medium. Because I did get six feet, but I don't get to be six foot uh, two through four like the rest of my family. Okay, I got small ass hands. I'm only six feet tall, shortest one. Dude, don't you dare bitch about being six feet tall. <laughs> Dude, it feels. Cody God, first try though. Absolutely. First try. Absolutely. You're six feet and complaining? What an entitled bitch. <laughs> Ban him. Ban him immediately. Um, okay, let's do this. Dude. I hate it. I hate the fact that I'm only six feet. It is. I've. Dude, the problem is, is that my spirit is six foot five. Okay. Hey, Apollo. Yeah, Apollo. Get a sixty-nine second ban. Uh, I'm my my spirit's six foot five. It's never fit inside this body. You know what I mean? It just has never fit, and it just wants to come out at all time. Your GitHub history is six ten. Thank you, baby. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's look at this. So we got header template. Um. So I want to play with this. Okay, some basic syntax. Let's I, let's do a quick start. Installation. Let's try this thing out. We're going to try a whole new... Let's try like a whole new project, right? Right? Oh, my goodness. Huh. Huh. Let's... Feels good. Okay. Set up. Make her hello world. Go among. Oh, yes, we got it. We got it. Hello temple. Uh, I don't know how to highlight this file. How do I highlight this file? Okay, that's kind of cool. Okay, that's kind of cool. Okay. Okay. You know what? I'm not going to lie to you. That's pretty effing cool. Whoopsies. I keep... The whole... All right. Welcome to Costco. I love you. But why, why isn't the package working? Shouldn't the package be working, people? Hey, double dwaddle. Let's go. Let's double up this dwaddle. Oh, do I have to, like, go run everything? Oh, we gotta back this up. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Okay, everybody, get your bets in right now. We gotta go. We're starting that Quap official three tries. How far am I gonna get? Am I gonna get 10 meters? Am I gonna get 20 meters? Am I gonna get 30, 40, 50, 75? 90 or 100 meters co-op official. Let's find out right now. Oh, we're going to go all the way. 
Get get your bets in. Get your bets in. Oh, I really want to. I just want to expose whatever this is because you should never send me a message. You know what I mean? El Captain Sponge, thank you very much. And did I miss anyone? Leonidas, did I miss this? Thank you, Leonidas. Let's go. Fiery Corgi. Did I miss this? Corgi. Corgi. Fiery, are you still around? Oh, my goodness. I feel like a genuine jerk. Corgi, thank you very much. All right. Here we go. Thank you, Janissary Welcome Dad. to Costco. I love you. Okay, the bad start. Come on. Okay. Okay, we're feeling good. Oh! Oh, did you see the splits on that one? Okay, they can't even train that at master level stripper school. Okay, here we go. Oh, come on. That was a twinkle toe, twinkle! No, no! All right, we got one more. We got one more. We got one more. We got one more. Let's go, let's go! I hate the fact that I punched the ground. I hate the fact I'm doing one more. This doesn't count though. This doesn't count. Okay, this doesn't count. Neither does that one. I felt like unlo I unlocked something last round. Do you see that little fast foot? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, it's so effing natural. Oh, it's so natural. Oh my goodness, what is this, organic? Is this organic? Uh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. Okay. Okay, don't get nervous. I've ran 20 meters a hundred times. Okay. Oh no, oh no! Hero, let's go! <laughs> National! It brought it home! We brought it home! Dude, we're gonna co-op duo so hard, TJ. Do you say my name? Say my name! My name. All right, but technically, in, in those three, give me the hey, meat. thank you, hey, thank I'm you, Lithium, for the all. twenty subs. Thank you, Joel, for the five. Uh, technically, my second attempt, I got forty to fifty meters. So we got it. We got to do according to the prediction. Janissary Dev, thank you very much. Quap official ended. My name. Cuck Lord message. 
It's, cu it's cucked up. Dude, that felt so good. Hey, what's up, Cook Lord? How you doing? Okay, what'd you say? Hi. Okay. Gosh, I'm so good at that. I'm so good at that. I'm so good at that game. That was so sweet. This song is a banger as well. TJ, we are going to... I hope you know, TJ. We're going to do this. TJ, you and I are going to... We're going to quap all the way to town. Do you like to bait my Twitter about democracy threat? Wait, what the hell is that? Uh, don't you dare. Don't you dare try that with me. All right. Hey, all right. Let's get back to this. So this is cool. Okay, so... All right, so let's get this thing set up with air. Let's get air in here, huh? Like, because I, I, I could like this. Hey, can we agree? I kind of like this. End the stream and go hang out with the beautiful wife. Let her know your hero status. She won't be home for another 10 minutes. Let me, let me ask the kids. Good call, though. Man, this is a slapper. Is this the one where I got called Trump? And Putin? Oh, yeah. Is, wait, wait, is that you? Is that literally you? Are you this person? <laughs> Zayas, thank you. I don't know who, I think it's Miley Cyrus that he's referring to. All right, here we go. Um, uh, Miley is an Argentinian, a right-wing Argentinian economist. <sighs> okay. I don't even I don't even know what to do with that one. I don't even know what to do with with that. Classic Argentinian right-wing <laughs> policymaker. <laughs> All right. Um, all right, so let's All right, let's play around with this temple business. I could really use All right, let's rebuild this thing. But with that, okay? Uh timings. All right, real question, let's see. Uh temple uh highlighting vim Neovim Golang. Damn, this song is a slap. Oh, <gasps> what is this? Uh, although the author is no longer maintaining it, I had to disable Go, please, uh, for Go Temple uh, file types as well. Oh. Tree Sitter Go Template. What's the name of the song? It's we're still in the same one. Wait, hold on, are we? No, that was the this was the crazy one. Right? This is the one that made my juice is hot. Then this one, which I thought was also a slapper, is downtown and Zane Alexander Orbit. And then this one is Smoke Signal, Thunder Road. What a great name. I what problem do you have with Argentina, bitch? <laughs> I like Argentina. You know how many, yeah, my, some of the favorite people I've ever worked with uh, came from Argentina, and we'd drink yerba mate together, and we would uh, enjoy an incredible amount of programming in yerba mate. It was genuinely disgusting. It was genuinely disgusting how much yerba mate I'd drink with them. You worked with... <laughs> okay, hey, yo, yo. What's going on here? Give me the meat and give it to me raw. Okay, yo. Yo, 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 yo. Calm down. Yo, calm down, baby. Uh, I can't tell if you're being serious. So you got to explain yourself in like one second. Explain yourself immediately. Okay, fair. Okay, I mean fair. Fair. 
Fair. He's hey, he's Brazilian. We all know that Brazilian can't. Yeah. Okay. Fair. Fair. That's fair. Hey, that's fair, everybody. That's fair. I uh, see. I don't live in either of those two places, so I can say I love both of you guys. But that's because I don't. I a I think soccer's a sport for communists. But b I don't. <laughs> you guys are all gonna hate me now. <laughs> Yo, yo, you can't say that. <laughs> Clip it, ship it, boys. Pause. All right, let's do this. All right. All right, so I, I mean, do I do this? Hey, you can't say that, soccer trigger. Trigger. All right, all right, all right, hold on. Hold on, shut, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Just shut, shut up. All right. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, I'm still using LSP zero. Hmm. I did want to rewrite this to go back to LSP config. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I started implementing tests at the company I work for, but I'm kind of lost. Any tips? Test things that don't touch uh, anything external. Start there. Right. Gosh, this is such a slappy slap. Yeah, I know. Unfortunately, I'm not using LSP configs anymore. I don't. I don't believe, right? Um, I don't think. I, I don't think I'm using any of that. What? Where, where did I put that? Packer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, LSP config. Welcome to Costco. I guess I'm using. I love you. NeoVim LSP config, but here, let's. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll say thank you, because I swear. I've had some weird problems because I have this dot local. I have these hidden files in here, and I've had some problems pulling stuff up, which has been annoying. Uh, plugin. Yeah, see? I can only see things from my Vim 2022. It's kind of annoying. You know what I mean? Uh, all right, Harpoon will save me. Hey, thank you very much. I appreciate that. I got to figure that out. All right, all right, hold on. Someone just subbed. Okay, guys, please don't tell me about your crappy politics. I don't. I actually don't want to know. Hidden equals true in Telescope. Yeah, I know. I got to skip that. Anonymous Gifter, thank you very much. And Nemons, let's go, Nemons. Five gifted subs. Let's go. Thank you. Appreciate that. All right, so here's my problem is I don't know what NeoVim LSP is supposed to be. What is that supposed to be? I genuinely, let's see there, let's see, you can find uh, NeoVim, okay, so there is a NeoVim tree sitter syntax, okay, so that should be really good for me. Does it have temple? Go. So it, it, I don't think it. Ha Welcome to Costco. I love you. Tree sitter temple. Oh, how do I use it to NeoVim? Okay, so I gotta go. Tree sitter dot configs require NeoVim tree sitter configs setup. I've never done this with tree sitter. This is like a fully different experience. This parser is not yet part of the available parsers. You need to add it manually. Okay, I've literally never done this. I've never had to play with tree sitter at that level. You know what I mean? Okay. Attempt to call a field register. Uh, Lua Vim tree sitter dot language dot. Oh, there's no register there. Uh oh. TJ, there's no register? I don't know what's happening there. 
Is there supposed to be a... Is there supposed to be one? Tree sitter language is pretty sure. Okay, so I... Am I... Why did I have tree sitter dart? Erlang? I'm scared. Okay, so it's in here. I, I, maybe I must be, I must be on an old version. When did tree sitter, what, what version of Lua do I need? Or what version? Not Luo. Uh, Neovim. Uh, you can call me on Discord. Uh, you're missing uh, all my messages. Oh, you can just say... Don't worry, I got this, Teach. You missed language in there. No, no, I did language. I did language. I did the language. Because I tried, I tried to go from language and I tried to walk back beyond language and just see if it was on Tree Sitter. So I tried them both. What's your NeoVim version? I think eight something. Right? Hold on, we're compiling all the new tree sitters. Uh, I, I'm on nine. I'm on a still. I'm on an old version of nine dev. I'm on an old version of nine dev. I haven't updated in a while, okay? Okay? I just okay. It's uh it's 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 make and pseudo make install, right? Is that still is that still the way to do it? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, it's saying potential breaking change. Don't you dare do that to me. All right, hold on. We're we're compiling. We're compiling. All right. All right, hold on. I got to hide my I got to hide I got to hide my screen. I got to hide my screen. I don't want you guys to see uh the password. Hold on. Oh shit. All right, I'm on 10. I'm on 10, boys. Boys, we're on 10. Hopefully that was a good idea. Welcome to Costco. I love you. Let's go. We got register. Yes, incredibly beautiful wife. Do, do you need eggs? Yeah. All right, four crispy eggs, no toast. You know I got that. You want five crispy eggs. All right, and uh, what does Alexa want? All right, Alexa wants two. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, I'll make one for Liv. Okay. All right. Love you. Bye. I have to go make 12 eggs. Uh, a crispy egg. Okay, so so the proper way to make a really good egg is that you get a pan and you get it really hot to where you, when you put butter on it, the butter immediately starts like vibrating. Crack an egg on top of the butter naturally. Uh, let it cook for a moment just in time for you to be able to put a touch of salt and a touch of pepper on it. Turn on the water on your sink. Get a little bit in the pan. Toss it on there so it's like a light-based, a restaurant-based. Put it on top. Lit it so it cooks the top and the bottom equally with no burns or anything. Comes out perfect, fully yolky. So that'd be a yolky egg, right? That's what we call a yolky egg at the Prime House, okay? If you want a crispy egg, you do the same thing, except for you leave the lid on, no water. So the top cooks slower, thus giving you a slight burn around the uh, edge. It's not a sunny side up egg because a sunny side up egg has no water involved. No water involved. I flick the egg yolk so that it uh, flattens out and all cooks at the same time. Ew. I got it all down. I'll take five as well. I'm really good at cooking eggs. Eggs and my steak tonight? Oh, I'm getting good at the, I'm good, good, good on the grill. I'm all about it. Uh, do you put a dash of vinegar? No, I've never tried that. My wife makes slamming scrambled eggs. Ooh, I like the sounds of that. Maitre de ouf. I'm not sure what that means. Is that French? All right, hold on. Uh, let's go back here. Let's shout this out. Let's go like this. Uh, TS install uh, temple. <laughs> oh, it's so over. It's so over. It's so over. It is so. It is so over. It's we're. It's not over. It's. It. This is not over. Why didn't it pick it up? Why is it not picking it up? Do, isn't it supposed to get some temple files? It's not over. You probably need to set the file type. Um, how do I set the file type? Regis. Oh my goodness. Can I not type in the word reg? Wait, what? Uh, tree sitter. Why, why is it acting funny? Tree sitter, red, tree sitter, reg, tree sitter, language, language, parser, parser, language, 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 uh, language dot register language file type. I did a temple as the file type. Uh, set, let's see, uh, I have a temple file type. Isn't it playground? I mean, it seems to understand this, right? Like we got it all, right? I don't know. Huh. All right. Sriracha ketchup. Ketchup is for children, okay? An adult male prefers onions uh you probably don't have highlights uh though right you installed the plug did you install the plugin for it is there a highlight plugin there there requires to be a highlight plugin let's do this where'd it go Do this next to a check health. Okay, yeah, so this is what we need to find, right? Oh, you need to put highlights yourself if it's not already available. I mean, I should have highlights on, right? Uh, because right here, I do have highlight enabled, right? I... I Do I, should I should I do this first maybe? 
But that, with, I mean, that can't affect it, can it? Can that? Uh, tree sitter. Uh, temple. Oh. Can I make that into a check? Well, that might be my problem. Read the next line in the docs. What am I missing? Check health. All right. I have this. I already have that. I have this thing. I have called register. I've already installed temple. What am I missing? I've we've we don't need to do that. What am I missing? Welcome to yeah, Costco. I assume this is already done. I love you. I feel, but I, I assume this is already done, right? This highlights SCM is already done for me, isn't it? It installed the plugin. I assume it already has everything where it needs to be. Hey, T Walsh. Or am I incorrect on that one? The easiest way to copy the files under query. Oh, I didn't see that. Classic, really, when you think about it. Wait, no. Right? Did I get that one? No, I need temple. Spin, templates, templates. Really? Welcome to Costco. Is it not in I that love one? You. Is it in state? Where are those things saved at? Teach. Hey, thank you, Nate, 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 Nate. It's been a while, Nate. How you doing? I will, I will stream and do this. I know, I'm not exactly sorry. Uh, is the guy that is told to read the whole test before it starts or just answering question one? Yeah. This would be super easy if the plug, let's see, a uh, super easy plugin if you wanted to make it. Yeah, I know this would be, this seems like a very simple plugin. Okay, so where the hell is the query at? Where, where does this thing get installed at? I thought it was, it, I thought it was in share, right? Is it not in share? And then NeoVim? And then Site? And Packer? Is it not, is it not in here? Oh, I guess that's Packer. Where 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 would Temple be located? Huh. I don't even know where it'd be located at. We'll have to go play and find the thing. Well, yeah, I know. I just gotta find where where, where did this get installed at? It's taken Welcome care to of Costco. by Packer. I love you. Just give TJ Tej admin accents. Cause I should be hey, I should, I know. I should be okay, find name uh that thing type D. It's not my dot local. Is it not in locals? Huh. Okay. Let T J S S H in. Okay. Well, I mean, I it's somewhere in here. I'll just have to find where the hell it installed it at. Okay. Because I don't know where it installed it at. Stop making fun of me. Okay. It's inappropriate to make fun of people. I don't know where it is. Just cook the eggs already. I know I got to do that. Co let's see. Copy it from the GitHub repo. But it installed it. I don't want to have to clone it twice. That's literally what I'm trying not to do. Okay. That's the easiest way to copy uh, files under the query director. Wait, 
¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? Not a directory. Don't, dude, stop making fun of me, okay? Stop making fun of me. Okay? Why don't I have a queries? Stop making fun of me. Wait, didn't I just land that? Didn't I just, didn't I just do that? Oh, is temple? Wait, yes, it is. Queries. Temple. Right? What am I doing wrong? Isn't that it? Isn't that, what am I doing wrong? Am I just I'm completely, completely confused here? Oh, that's because I'm, I am completely confused. I have to copy the other way around. Right? I have to copy everything over there. There we go. I was not copying the right way. Sorry, my brain was totally messed up. Okay, you can call me stupid. You can call me stupid. You can just call me stupid. Okay, you can just call me stupid. It's fine. Go ahead, Beast Cow. All right. I got to go to bed. I got to go make eggs. Make eggs time. Uh, it's cool to give him a break. It's 10 p.m. at night. Why, why, why are our mouses bad? What the hell is a mouse? Hey, again, appreciate that, Nate, 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 Nate. So I just got to make eggs. I got to make eggs, okay? I can't... Okay, I can't just keep hanging out with degenerates. Dude, I thought it was health check. Welcome to Costco. I Is it not you. health check? Have I forgot how to do a health check? Dang it. Uh, hey, thank you. Uh, Zarek's day. Seriously, I'll seriously stream right now, and I'll show you. I'll show off how it's supposed to work. Uh, I don't care if you do. You can do that. I, I got to go make eggs. Okay. Well, now it's not even working at all. Now we're getting we're getting nothing now. Now we're generally getting nothing. That doesn't feel like we're getting closer. That was the technically only thing I really changed there. Still nothing. Ah, uh, it doesn't have a file type. <laughs> file type. All right, how do I do a file type? I've never tried a file type. I've never, I've never set a file type. Upon enter, do I need to do like a little, uh, hold on. Now, now, now you got me. Do I need to do some sort of, uh, buff on enter? Uh, buff. Enter. Create. Dude, what is with that? C. I press an R and it all goes away. What is that? What is that? What is that? Temple makes the Prime Engine switch the VS Code? No. No, I don't want to do that. Okay, so I pretty much have everything done except for that last part, which is just when I come across a temple. Yeah, no, I mean, I did that. Look. E, when I press N, it disappears, right? I mean, I could use buff enter, but I don't think I should do it that way. That doesn't seem right. Something tells me that is not the, that's not the one I want to do, but that's fine. All right, close enough, right? Close enough, right? It didn't work. Yeah, I didn't get that. Huh. Is it, is it gonna be something like that? You could be right. 
Okay, why have I not put this on harpoon? There we go. Okay. I, I mean, I, I'm sure there's a better way to do this. Ah, close enough. Boom goes the dynamite. Close enough. There we go. Close enough. All right, I got to go make eggs for kids. I got to make eggs for kids. I got to go. Let me guess. Teach streaming. We got it done. Hey, thank you for the 100 biddies. Thank you, Krogaro. Thank you. I appreciate that. I don't see Tej. I see Tej. Yes, we can. We already got it all fixed up. Extension. You can tell him I already got it fixed. Temple. I already temple. did it. Nice. There Please we go. just stream O Camel. Nice. There we go. He sees me. I'll stop this now. Okay, so we can oh, just nice. add basically these parts here, and then. Yo, what up, Prime? I already did it. Please just stream OK. Well, we'll do that in one moment. I'm almost done. I'll have a plugin for you so that you can uh, use it instead. And then we should just copy these over, basically. Like this. Doo -doo -doo. Um, Vim file type add. Extension. Query. Temple. You temple. Oh, Vim, Vim file, file type, type add. Extension. Temple. It's temple. There you go. That part's good. And then uh, we can do make dir queries. Uh, temple. There's P, right? Wait, what was it? Right. File type. Queries, Dang temple. It. Highlights. SCM. Boom. Okay, we'll put that one in. Uh, I don't think we need the structure one. We'll take this injection one if it's the same. This should work just fine, yeah. Is it a function? It's a Injections. function. Okay. Okay. And, and then I'll just have to figure out go. how to do the file so type it add. it should just be this. This will make it so that... Man, I can't... By default, it's going to try and set up temple. Right, it's gonna say this here. That's the we one I want. This I want this particular thing. version. Probably wouldn't be a terrible idea, but this part's fine. And then this is basically like extension. Register the language. There we and go. And this is like make sure we have a tree sitter uh, grammar for the language. Yeah. Um, and then was there anything else that you needed to do? Like, were you trying to set something up for uh, LSP config? Got it. 